Hi and welcome to the vlog. I'm Tova, that's Alice, this is Eileen with Parent XP and I am raping the girls into helping me make some Swedish meatballs. Alice, do you want to cut up on your nose? Mama, I want a cuddle. You want a cuddle? Oh. Mommy, you got me a bit Get me up there. Oh. Get me up there. Why Swedish meatballs? Well, I'm Swedish and uh, today today we fancy meatballs so here's a ball there's a tiny tiny bit of water in the bottom of it i don't know if you can see that at all tiny bit of water and i have some breadcrumbs i'm gonna put in and allow it to thicken uh, the exact amounts aren't that important <laughs> at least not when you have a three-year-old who's helping you alice not alice I need a spoon to throw it. Right, then. No. Oh. I need some salt and pepper, white pepper. Alice. Uh, apparently like, I need a funnel. No, thank you. It takes a heck of a lot more salt than you think. Like loads more. Mama. Mama, I have some tea. Mama, I have some tea with honey. Some tea with honey? Maybe just now. Oh. We need uh -huh. one of Alice's favourite bits of all of this. An egg. I, I do, I do, I do. Oh, okay. Right, I might need to go and rinse her fingers off. We need a child who finds this nice funny. And we need some mixed pork and beef meats. Now. Now. Put it in now. <laughs> and then I put in the memes. <laughs> and then the child flicks memes everywhere. <laughs> Don't flick the memes, child. <laughs> Not a euphemism. No, 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 which is probably the funniest part. <laughs> and yes, we had washed our hands before we started. You then get yourself a frying pan. I quite like a mixture of, um, sorry, here I am, hi. Um, I quite like a mixture of butter and oil to fry in. <laughs> and you start shaping meatballs. So you're a small shot below Alice. How big? Purely prefer preference, to be honest. <laughs> as long as they're all roughly the same size. Because we don't want uneven balls now, do we? Yeah, you do. Mine. Hear that sound? 
That's the sound you want to hear when you're going to fry meatballs. And then you put your balls in your frying pan. Help! And try not to burn your finger. <laughs> and then you have a child who laughs at you because you burnt your finger. She loves me, really. <laughs> A bit of child labour to clean up. All right, what I then do, because I've obviously got a batch frying here, but I've got more to go, is I take a pirate's dish, I put the fried ones in that, I put them in the oven. And I get kisses. Uh, Lots for you, okay. She is actually extremely good and can help me cut things, but I'm a little bit nervous when things are this hot. Because right now, I think she's a little overtired and she's clearly quite hungry and she's feeling a bit unloved because I've been filming so much this afternoon that she's getting a bit um, extra, shall we say. Oh. Also, the traditional accompaniment to Swedish meatballs is potatoes and cream sauce and lingonberry jam and uh, hair. She's eating my hair. I am out of potatoes. And I have a child who loves pasta and I have a child who I would like to eat her dinner. Not my hair, the dinner. And so I'm making Swedish meatballs Italian style. Ah, yeah! Stop! Medicine go down, just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine. 